So let's look at yet another example that deals with relativistic addition of velocities, also known as Lorentz velocity transformation. So a spaceship leaves Earth and travels with a velocity of 0.55 c, where c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Now a small capsule is released by that spaceship that travels with a velocity of 0.75 c with respect to that spaceship. We want to find the velocity of the capsule with respect to the Earth if the capsule is released in the same direction as the velocity of the spaceship in part A and in part B if the capsule is released in the opposite direction of motion of that spaceship. So. Let's begin with part A by looking at the following diagram which describes what is taking place. So we have the Earth which is assumed to be our stationary inertial reference frame. Let's call it frame F. And the spaceship is our moving inertial reference frame. Let's call it F prime. Now the velocity of this inertial reference frame F prime is the same as the velocity of the spaceship given by V. So the spaceship releases a capsule that travels with a velocity given by u prime x with respect to the frame f prime. What we want to calculate is simply u x, the velocity of that capsule, with respect to the stationary earth, with respect to frame f. And we want to calculate it by using the Lorentz velocity transformation equation given by this formula. So ux is equal to ux prime plus v divided by 1 plus ux prime times v divided by c squared. c is simply the speed of light in a vacuum. ux prime is 0.75 c and v, the velocity of the spaceship frame f prime, is 0.55 c. So the top is 0.75 c plus 0.55 c and that gives us 1.3 c. Now we divide that by 1 plus 0.75 c multiplied by 0.55 c divided by c squared gives us 1.4125. So these two values, if we divide them, we get approximately ux is equal to 0.92c. So that means the speed of the capsule with respect to the stationary Earth is about 92% of the speed of light in a vacuum. Now, let's move on to part B. So, let's look at the following diagram. So now, the capsule, instead of being released in the positive direction along the x-axis, it is released in the negative direction along the x-axis. So now, when we apply this equation, we want to use a negative sign for this u prime x, as shown in the following equation. So now, we have negative ux prime plus v divided by by 1 minus ux prime times v divided by c squared. Once again, the negative comes from the fact that the capsule is moving in the negative direction along the x-axis toward the earth away from this spaceship. So, negative 0.75c plus 0.55c gives us negative 0.2c. Now the bottom gives us positive 0.505c. We divide these two quantities and we get negative 0.40c. So the negative simply means the velocity of the capsule is in the negative direction along the x-axis toward the earth and away from our spaceship. So that means the quantity or magnitude of the velocity of the spaceship with respect to the Earth is about 40% of the speed of light in a vacuum.